Hey, how's it going guys? This is Spearfield7, long time no talk, I am back, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the games that have been released uh, for December, I do this every single month, I figured why in the hell would I ever skip a month, so here we are today, in the background we got a little World War II gameplay, it's kind of weird when you play multiplayer games, people keep their eye on you, and after being in like the top three and winning like 12 straight games, I finally lost a game, and then some dude sent me a message like you mad bro well actually yeah i am mad and when the connection's working in my favor and you challenge spearfield 7 like that you have to get <laughs> clapped up you know what i'm saying so <laughs> anyways i can't believe i succeeded with this gun even though the iron sights are absolutely terrible so today we're going to talk about the games that were released and are available for download right now if you're a playstation plus subscriber the first game is Forma 8. Forma 8 is an action platformer, and it's got kind of 2D graphics. I really dig the art style, and I don't know why, but I've just been craving some platforming lately. And so this looks like a really attractive title to me. It has very, very good reviews on Steam, the PC marketplace, and it's rolling in at a 78 on Metacritic. Summary for the game, in a distant future, the small exploration probe Forma 8 is stranded alone on the surface of an alien planet. He got parted away from his companions by an accidental event and has a life or death mission to accomplish. He needs to find and recover a powerful energy source deep under the surface before it's too late. Ancient civilizations, great perils, and dystopian visions await him, and not everything is as it seems. So this game looks actually pretty nice. It's kind of, PlayStation Plus is known for giving away indie games. This actually looks like a pretty decent title and I'm interested in playing it. Next up, we have Kung Fu Panda Showdown of Legendary Legends, which I've heard online through Reddit, through other places. It's basically kind of like a Smash Bros clone, if you're familiar with the fighting game Smash Bros for Nintendo. Um, it's basically that game with Kung Fu Panda characters. It's got a 63 on Metacritic, so definitely could have been a lot better. But honestly, I'm kind of happy the service has given away some kid-friendly games. I mean, little Jimmy, who's like six years old, ain't gonna be opening up Metal Gear Solid 5, where some guy's arm is ripped off and there's blood and guts and all that shit. So it's kind of cool that like kids who are opening up their PS4s on Christmas morning or whatever are gonna have a little something to play that their parents can feel good about. Next up, I, w I would say there's always kind of a main release this month's main release, in my opinion, is Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition. Um, this is a game from THQ, I believe. I don't even know if THQ is around anymore. I used to really like their, uh, their wrestling video games for Nintendo 64. But that's besides the point. It's got a 72 on Metacritic. It's kind of an above average to average rating. Um, but it looks really awesome, and it's a game that I own already, and I've never had a chance to play it, but this definitely reminds me, hey, it's in my library, check it out. So the summary for the game, Darksiders 2 follows the actions of Death, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, in a tale that runs parallel to the events in the original Darksiders game. This journey propels Death across an expansive game world as he tries to redeem his brother War, the horseman blamed for prematurely starting the apocalypse in Darksiders. I really love the design style, I really love the art style, and from what I've read in the past when I originally bought the game, people said that if you don't have Zelda and you like the Zelda games or that Zelda type of uh, action adventure open world game, that this game is probably the best you can do that isn't a Zelda title. So. According to HLTB, howlongthebeat.com, um, I love that site when I'm thinking about buying games because it lets me know kind of how long it takes to play the game, and so I can make informed buying decisions. I mean, if I'm going to buy a game and it only lasts two or three hours, then and it's worth 60 bucks, that doesn't really feel like a good use of my time or my money. So I'm really happy that this game is a nice, solid 21-hour experience to complete the game from start to finish, so I find that to be a plus. Overall, I kind of think we're in a down month. I don't think that this is necessarily a great menu of games, but honestly, we've been spoiled in the last couple months, and I don't really get the service 
for free games, but it's always nice to see what's going on, and I hope you enjoyed this video and got a clear idea of what you're in store for on PlayStation Plus in December. Also wanted to mention that starting Saturday, December 9th, is the Monster Hunter World Open Beta. That's going to be one of the first... Uh, first AAA releases to drop next year for the PS4. I saw the trailer on E3. I don't know if that game's up my alley, but it looked kind of interesting and I might give it a try, you know, to mess around with some dinosaurs and stuff. Once again, this is a PlayStation Plus exclusive, so we're going to be getting it before everybody else. I don't like exclusives. I think that they're very anti-consumer and anti-gaming, and I really wish that we lived in a perfect world where multiplayer games weren't littered with transactional content and that we could all just kind of play the games at the same time, but that's not the world we live in. Kind of sad, but anyways, if you're looking out for it and you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, definitely check it out this weekend, give it a try, see if it's for you. And basically, yeah, so I like to keep these videos relatively short. I'm gonna be out. I uh, have a couple 2K gameplays. I'm gonna be doing another Neighborhood Stories video here pretty soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment if you can. And until next time, this is Spearfield7. See y'all later.